All right, so, uh, so welcome back. Uh, so this is the second half of our, uh, our uh, morning session uh, of uh, WTSC. Uh, and uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Han Tian Zhang uh, from uh, EPFL in Switzerland. Uh, and he's going to speak about zero auction, a zero deposit sealed bid auction with delayed execution. Uh, Hao Kian, over to you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm Hao Tian. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, zero auction. It's a zero deposit sell bid auction uh, via delayed execution. So this is a joint work with uh, M Michelle from NUS and Burrow and Brian from uh, uh, EPFL. Uh, so this is the uh, outline of today. So I will first introduce the sell bid auction. Then I will uh, uh, introduce some uh, impossibilities uh, under the current blockchain. And then I will introduce the zero auction, followed by some experiment result and uh, uh, the conclusion. So first we can uh, uh, see an example of open bid auction. Open bid auction means that uh, every bid is open, so you can see uh, everyone's bid during the bidding period. So in this example, Alice want to bid 10, uh, Bob want to bid 20, and Charlie want to bid uh, 15. So we can see that the, the winner is Bob in this example. And we can implement this uh, open bid auction in, in, in blockchain in a very simple way. So we can initialize uh, uh, two variables, the highest and the winner. Uh, initially we set highest is zero and the winner is empty. Then for each uh, new bit, we can uh, we can update uh, update uh, uh, the highest as a winner if the bit is uh, uh, is uh, uh, larger than the previous highest. So then we require the bidder to transfer uh, uh, the money uh, to the smart contract, and uh, we uh, we we uh, distribute uh, we distribute uh, we distribute money back to the previous winner if there is. Then we update the highest. And winner uh, accordingly. Uh, now we come to the self bid auction. So in the self bid auction, the the bid itself. So basically, uh, there is no. Uh, uh, basically, everyone cannot know everyone else's bid during the bidding period. So this will create some problem because at the end of the bidding period, we don't know who is the winner. And we can use a simple approach called commit and review. To, uh, to overcome this issue. So we can ask everyone to commit, and, and later uh, we, uh, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, let everyone to review it. And we, we, uh, the review must ensure that the, uh, the bid uh, matches the uh, uh, commitment. For example, the hash of the bid uh, equals to the commitment. Uh, however, uh, uh, this approach has an issue. How can we ensure that uh, the winner actually pay for what uh, they bid? Uh, that's why we, we require to have a deposit. So, uh, uh, so we can ask every participant to uh, deposit a lot of uh, money in the smart contract during the bidding period. Then, uh, after uh, uh, reviewing, we, we let the winner uh, to pay using their deposit. And this is a, a, a smart contract uh, for self-bid auction. So it's, it's a bit long, it's double than before. So I'm not going to uh, introduce in detail. But you can see there are two states. There's two phases. One is bidding phase, one is revealing uh, phase. Now I'm, I'm going to introduce some uh, impossibilities. So uh, impossibility one is that we really cannot have one round of communication for the bidder to submit his bid so, uh, for, for the self-bid auction. So for example, if the bidding period, uh, if the bidder submits the bid during the bidding period in clear text, then it violates the, uh, the self-bid auction property. Uh, however, if we let the, the bidder to submit the commitment, then we don't have a, a phase to review that. So this is a really an uh, impossibility for for, uh, for bidder to have one round communication uh, to achieve self-bid auction. The impossibility two is to eliminating deposit. Uh, so the problem 
as I said before, if we uh, have the deposit, uh, if we don't have the deposit, how can we let the winner to actually pay? How can we force that? This is especially a big problem in blockchain because because uh, uh, the Bob is uh, the winner is just uh, some random string that uh, we never know who, who is it. And we cannot use in legal way to to let the, the winner to pay, right? So that's why we have to have a deposit. Uh, in possibility three, it's about uh, multiple auctions. So imagine we now have uh, two auction, the auction green and the auction yellow. Uh, so uh, uh, we assume that Alice has a balance of 10, Bob has a balance of 20, and Alice wants to uh, bid for auction green for 10, Bob wants to uh, bid for auction green for 20. Uh, and later, uh, Alice wants to uh, uh, bid for auction yellow for 10. So, so, uh, so you, you see that uh, Alice only have 10 uh, coins in this example, right? But Alice can actually participate both uh, auctions because when Alice submits a bid of 10 uh, and later Bob submits a bid of 20, we already know that Alice cannot win the green auction, right? So the 10, we already can return to Alice's balance. So during the yellow uh, auction, the Alice can use the same 10 coins to participate again. and. Uh, since uh, uh, Bob is not interested in the yellow auction, so uh, 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 the winner of the uh, yellow auction is Alice. <coughs> and this creates a particular problem for a self bid auction because in self bid during the bidding period, uh, all bids are, are felt, hidden. So we don't actually know uh, who is the winner in this example. So after the bidding period, we, we can know uh, nothing. And also, extremely hard for Alice to reuse uh, its uh, its uh, its ten coins because uh, uh, when Alice bids for the uh, yellow auction, uh, we don't know who is the winner uh, of the green uh, auction yet. So now, uh, before I introduce a zero uh, auction, I want to uh, just introduce a black box called uh, a delayed execution. So in delayed execution. Um, uh, it delays all the transaction to uh, fix the uh, global time. So this includes uh, every transaction, like uh, the normal transfer transaction or the auction transaction. Uh, I'm not going to talk details about this uh, uh, black box, but if you want to uh, know more, you can look at this uh, uh, AFT paper uh, that I, I introduced more. Uh, there are more consideration about uh, uh, the incentive design, about spamming, um, <coughs> etc., etc. And this paper is using the uh, that paper is using the delayed execution to uh, mitigate from wrong. <coughs> but uh, not the topic of this uh, 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 talk. So now uh, uh, <coughs> you say the delayed execution may uh, when you first say delayed execution, you may think this may uh, create latency overhead. But I want to remind you that uh, in any blockchain, we have a confirmation. For example, in Bitcoin, we need six block confirmation. And in Ethereum, we need a 64 slot to really finalize our transaction. So, so for the commercial to, uh, convert, uh, convert to accept the transaction. So for delayed execution, we just uh, shift that uh, uh, waiting time uh, uh, before. So, so we let uh, uh, the, the transaction first to, to, to be delayed, and during the delay, the transaction are encrypted, so nobody can, can read the content. Uh, that's crucial. And then after the delay, it will be decrypted and, uh, and, uh, and executed. So now uh, let's say, uh, how can we, uh, so now we can say how the zero auction works. So when Alice bid uh, 10, the entire transaction is encrypted. And then when Bob bid 20, the entire transaction are encrypted, is encrypted. So nobody knows what Alice's bid is. Uh, so this satisfies the, the bidding, uh, the self-bid property. And, uh, and, uh, and after a fixed global delay time, uh, the block
blockchain, the, the architecture will decrypt the Alice's transaction and Bob's transaction one by one. So we know that Alice bid for 10 and Bob bid for 20. And uh, at the end of the revealing period, we know that the, the winner is Bob. So now we can, uh, uh, so you see that this is the open bit option code, right? But actually it's exactly the same as the uh, zero option uh, code. So they are exactly the same thing. So basically we checked that under the unit <coughs> execution, the open bit option automatically become a self bit option. So uh, it's exactly, it's identical uh, slides, just to change the pattern. And we also saw uh, the, the three impossibilities before. So look at the first impossibility, which is uh, one round communication. Why? So because uh, uh, Alice and Bob only need to submit one transaction, and the transaction will be delayed automatically and executed automatically by the blockchain. So Alice and Bob do not need to interact with the blockchain anymore. Also, we eliminate the deposit. So in this example, Alice and uh, has a, a coins of 10, Bob has a balance of 20, and they want to uh, bid all their balance for the, auction, uh, for the auction. And we actually do not need the uh, 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 deposit because Ali and Bob only pay during the revealing period, right? So, but this creates a problem if, if one of the participants does not have uh, uh, what uh, the money they, they bid for. So in this example, although Bob bid for 20, but his uh, balance actually is zero. So in this case, when, when, uh, when the transaction is delayed and executed, you can see that uh, Bob's transaction is invalid. That's, that, that's uh, uh, why the, the, uh, the, the Bob cannot win the auction and Alice can win. And let's say the multiple auction example, this is the most uh, uh, complicated uh, example in this talk. So we have a three, uh, 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 we have two auction, green and uh, yellow, and their balance, Alice has 10, Bob has 20, and Alice want to uh, bid for 10 for green, and Bob want to bid for 20 for green, and Alice want to uh, bid for 10 for yellow, and Bob are not interested in uh, the yellow auction. Uh, Again, uh, during the uh, revealing period of green auction, uh, 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 the, the Alice's transaction will be revealed first, bidding for 10, and then Bob uh, 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 bids for 20, and by, by the time uh, Bob, uh, the review of the Bob transaction, we already know that Alice will not be able to win the uh, green auction, so the, uh, the smart contract can return the Alice's 10 coins to, to his account so that Alice can, can participate, uh, uh, can, uh, can use the same fund uh, in the revealing period uh, for, for Alice in the yellow option. So uh, this is an experimental result, so I, I don't have uh, uh, the, uh, the data yet, so it's still under the delayed execution, so this, because this is just a workshop submission. So uh, I, I don't have that. Uh, hopefully, I can have that uh, uh, in the full paper submission. So this is a conclusion. So zero auction achieves one round of communication. Uh, it requires zero deposit. Uh, uh, it can use. Uh, uh, it allows bidder to use the same fund for multiple auction. Uh, however, uh, the zero auction requires uh, delayed execution for all the transactions. Uh, but if we properly ensure the delay time, for example, using the same delay time as the confirmation time, we don't uh, actually uh, increase uh, the latency or over time for the transaction. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Hakshan. Uh, so do we have any questions? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> in the example with uh, multiple options, um, the result here depends on the exact order of transactions, right? Yes. Because if Bob's order was after the second order of Alice, then Alice could not bid 10 on both, right? Uh, yes, so uh, this does not solve all, uh, but uh, it kind of increase uh, uh, the, uh, the fund usability. Okay. So it's 
strictly better than before, but yeah. not not better. perfect. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it can be perfect. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, hope it's clear. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, how's